Hi Free Central, welcome back. Um, this is part two of the guide on how to get WebOS 2.1 running on your Sprint P- minus using Ubuntu. Um, now at this point, um, at the end of the last video, we um, ran the doctor and I stopped the video while the doctor was installing. Well, at this point in the video, the doctor has installed, um, so I've exited out of it. Um, uh, as you can see here in the terminal, the script is finished, um, flash in time success. Um, and you're back at your prompt. So that indicates the script is finished. So now that the script is finished, um, you can go ahead and go, um, your pre is going to reboot. Um, once your pre reboots, you can log into your Palm profile. Um, if this is your first time running 2.0, you might want to use a test profile to, you know, see how it feels on your device, make sure maybe it's something that you want to keep. And if you do find that you want to keep it, then you can run through the, um, you can run the script again. Or you can just go to where the doctor is located at. Um, let me just show you where that is really quickly. Um, go to your meta doctor folder. Um, build. And this is the doctor that was created that um, was ran on your device. So if you ever want to run it again, that's where it is. Um, so yeah, so once you've tested um, WebOS 2.1 and you like it well enough, you can go ahead and use your main profile. And um, with the script we've used, um, using your main profile, we'll go ahead and restore the apps that you had um, on a device previous to WebOS 2.0. Um, turning on Wi-Fi on my device real quick. So I can go ahead and download those apps. I've already logged into my device and activated it because I actually roam at my house. So it sort of takes a while to do that process. Um, so for me, I'm, I'm at the stage where I need to take the Palm Build info um, that currently has 2.1 on it and change it to, I mean, it currently has 1.4.5 on it and change it to 2.1. Um, now to do that, we're going to come back to the WebOS 2 upgrade page and we're going to look at step 5 which says restore ETC Palm build info. Um, and this tells you to, and I think what this does is mount the, actually I don't know what these commands mean, but I know how to type them in. Sorry about that. But um, I'm here in my um, MetaDoctor directory, if you're not in your MetaDoctor directory, Go back to your meta directory member. Um, and if you're at just your basic prompt CD meta doctor, and I'll take you right on over there. Um, so from here, um, you can just copy and paste these commands right here. Um, the doctor, when the script, uh, when it finished, it booted your pre up in developer mode. Um, so that's why these scripts are able to run okay. Um, I mean these commands are able to run okay. Now this line right here is sorry, sorry. this line right here is going to move the ETC palm build info um, I mean build move the palm build info on mass which has the 2.1 build up info in it to the palm build info on your device. Um, so that's what that command does. Er, well, that's what it'll do once I copy it correctly. Doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the last command is to tell your device to reboot. Um, since your device has no patches, um, it reboots a lot faster than you're probably used to. Um, so yeah, that, that's the, um, the end of the process. Um, once you, your pre-reboots and, um, you get into it, you'll notice that your app should be downloading, um, that you had installed. Your, um, your home profile, all of that won't restore your calendars things like that because you know we erased that in 1.4.5 to make sure that our profile would log in successfully on webOS 2.1 um, but your apps will come back you should be able to purchase um, some apps and if you look at step six here um, it tells you to donate to webOS internals for making all this possible um, Rod worked tirelessly last night and and 
um, many other users as well um, who helped me out because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> no, I mean, not, you know, not completely. Um, Ked, Ed Ked is, um, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but, um, you know, he made the script that the people um, used and ended up making versions of uh, for other devices beyond the Sprint Pre Minus. Um, so, yeah, so um, step six is to donate to Wellwise Internal so if everything worked out. Um, and to purchase the Freeware Homebrew app, which is a great test to see if your um, if the purchase um, apps are working, um, and to leave a review in the app catalog, thanking Rod for in Web Western Journals for you know all the work they did with the Meta Doctor. Um, the um, at the end of the page, you'll see a couple of ca caveats, some of which I have touched on already, which is that apps that um, are only compatible with OS versions 2.x won't show up, uh, which right now that I know of are Music Player Remix and Voice Memos. Um, it talks about the masquerading process, which is why we had to install, um, download the Sprint 1.4.5 Doctor. Um, it talks about the carrier specific applications, which I didn't get into. Um, those are included on Doctors. Um, you can find another guide elsewhere that sort of tell you how to extract those IPK, IPK files from the device so you can get your sprint navigation back on there. Um, I love that app, so <laughs> that's definitely something that, that I did after um, I doctored, and which I will be doing after this doctor, um, well after my apps load up from this doctor. I actually doctored my device just now with, along with this video, um, you know, just to make sure it all went okay. Um, and then it talks about the Palm Profile people having trouble logging in because of the backup data, which I touched on. It hopefully won't happen to you because you hopefully uh, went ahead and, and clicked off on your backup app before you tried to install WebOS 2.1. Um, and then it tells you that Flash is not included, which is okay because it runs like crap. <laughs>